Hey buddy, my wife's car started acting up and the code reader, all it really gave was a code. It didn't really say much, just give a number. So we looked it up and that code said it was the uh, control modular for, or pre-runner intake control modular. And this is on one of them Honda Santa Fe's. And after doing some looking, it we pulled up the park, but you got to pull, you pull this off. This is not bolted down. This has just got these little type of things that holds on the little points right there. So you just give her a little tug, it pops up. And after doing some more looking, this is what, this is what it is. It's on the passenger side in the front area right by the motor mount. So, or from everything I've pulled up, that's where it's at. So, we're going to try to very gently remove this clip. There we go. There we go. And now, next thing I'm going to have to do, that looks like that is probably... I'm going to guess maybe a 10 millimeter. So let's just see. All right. Let's see. Yeah, it's 10 millimeter. Now, a lot of people are probably going to tell you you do not use an impact on here. Um, that's totally up to y'all what you do. I'm using one just because it's a little quicker. So... That's two of them right there, and that's going to have a little lever on the side over here we're going to have to undo too. And there may be a vacuum hose, I'm not sure, but we're going to find out. But to best I can figure out, figured it, this is it. And it's only when I went to the parts store, it's only showing one. And some of them have a right and a left. And the parts store is only showing one, so we're just going to see. Let's see, is there any, there ain't no vacuum hoses on it. Kind of see if we can gently turn that. <sighs> Everything else come out easy but that. Imagine that. I'm trying not to take and break anything because... That's going to be a pain if I have to really get in here and replace any junk. It looks like there might be. Yeah. But one of the other things I've seen, and this one's already been replaced once. That's my guess. Judging by the judging by the marks on it, no, it's maybe that's just the factory they've done that. We used to do that some, but um, <clears throat> I guess now I got to go find a Phillips, Let's see what I can do with it. And uh, it may help you to go ahead and undo these bolts, like right in here, so you can kind of move this out of the way. So we'll pop them out real quick. Do it real quick. And that one. Put 
them right there so then that gets and there's a little I'm gonna try I gotta be careful because if I don't I'll end up breaking something and then it's gonna be a really long day Problem is, it's acting like it's stripped out. Maybe I can. Wonder if I can pry that loose. And you got to be careful because plastic, being as that it's around all this heat from the engine, it can get brittle and crack. I had a Lincoln LS that had to, because they made the intake entirely out of plastic, had to replace that. And it was the thermostat house and it had gotten cracked. screw that's holding this has managed to but that's what you got to get out right there you got to get that little lever or this screw out right here and that's how you remove one Alright, I got it off. I ended up just kind of wiggling it just a little bit, and you got to be very careful. But as you can see, I got that out without damaging the rod. And that right there kind of moves around, opens the flaps up, and all that other mess that it needs to do. But that right there is supposed to be what you're looking for right there so and that is on a 2009 honda santa fe i believe the four cylinders is different but there's only showing one and so far that's all i've seen on this motor so i hope that helps you out folks um so i appreciate y'all for watching let me know what you think in the comments